Okay, this uh, scale is set to ounces. It's a kitchen scale. And I'm uh, just going to weigh this one first the uh, blunt billet. 11.40 ounces. This moose <coughs> pointed billet. 12.65 and uh, let's see I was using a billet earlier this pointed billet here 3.75 ounces Let's see if I can get something else here. Grams, maybe. Okay, those are grams. Small billet, small pointed billet. I believe that's 107 grams. Large pointed billet, 360 grams. And the uh, Blunt billet, 322 grams. Okay, so that's these three. These are the ones I like using other than the, uh, I have a large elk antler billet. Let's see, I might as well weigh that too. I've been using it and never weighed it. This one here, elk antler with part of the, uh, well, I think there used to be part of the skull attached, but I don't think it's there anymore. Let's see. Four hundred seven grams. Fourteen point three ounces. Okay. See anything else? One of my favorite hammer stones. 6.05 ounces. Let's see if I can find that real hammer stone. Okay, this one is an actual artifact. Quartzite. I believe these two are the same material. This is one of my hard hammer stones. This is an actual artifact. And it weighs exactly seven ounces. And hundred and ninety-nine grams. Okay. All right. And if I can think of something else to weigh, I'll weigh it. Uh, and I'll try to weigh my tools and all that in upcoming videos. Because uh, it is useful in, uh, in replication. The length is also useful. Because some archaeological texts will show you the length and dimensions and so forth and weights of these tools that they find course after being in the ground for a while that the weights not, might not be exact but this one's five inches long inch and a quarter this moose inch and I don't know almost two inches I guess I'm trying to see the measurement through the viewfinder. That way you guys can see it better. Okay, almost four inches. Well, I, yeah, well, four inches on that one. Uh, this one, this is the other half. These two came as a, I bought the uh, the whole moose skull and the antlers together. It cost me uh, close to three hundred dollars. 
but I, I, I needed the skull uh, because it is very dense, very, very hard. I wanted some very dense billets. Okay, so this one is five and three quarter or so. Okay. All right, that's it.